Welcome back Vapor followers and if you're new to the channel please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification button to be notified when new content hits. Thank you. Special thanks to Mallfish Collectibles where I purchased this NECA street scene diorama. I also get my Mescos and my NECA from him. Doc's Unique Collectibles where I get all my statues and hot toys. Check them out at the One Stop Dream Shop. Manny at Sun City Collectibles where I get my local supply of toys. Thank you. Now let's dig right in. Easy to displays over 30 figures at once. Over two feet tall. It's the NECA street scene diorama. Quick description and detail. It's also over two feet wide and it accommodates most figures. Like it says here, six to nine inches tall. It's got the reversible skyline backdrop for both sides, which is the day and night. Let's go ahead and take everything out with all the contents so I can separate them and show you exactly what it looks like. Everything packaged really good in bubble wrap all around. Sausage and the impact from the shipping. I'm pretty impressed the way it's packaged to be honest. I had no issues with any of the items in there. Cracked or broke. Some of the extra pieces that you're going to use to put together. Like the bricks and the windows and stuff like that to bring it to life. Here's the instruction manual. Time to attach the window panels to the back of the window walls. They also have film on there. All you gotta do is just peel them off to protect them from uh, scratches and all. As you can see here, the walls panels separate in case you want to do other things like show damage to the walls or anything. Now the window panels have little holes that you're going to slide into the actual um, tight pegs right there. They're going very easy. That's put together that wall. Fairly easy. Now time to assemble the first level with the side walls and the accessories with the floor base and the top base to connect to the second floor.
they snap in pretty good and tight so they're not going anywhere at all it's gonna feel like you're gonna mess something up but you're not this plastic is pretty darn sturdy to be honest these walls here make sure you put them on the right side when they're flushed on the bottom because the opposite sides are actually higher than the wall um, pieces that it actually supposed to go there so it would be it wouldn't be flush if you don't do it right this piece here in the center could be a little tricky to get the grooves on top of each other because they kind of overlap but once you get it they're in pretty snug and tight and then on the bottom they have these little grooves that you're gonna slide them in it's uh, really easy because they have pegs to align on the side so you're not gonna be off of it at any moment once you get all the pegs together um, it sits pretty good Time to assemble the accessory pieces for the first floor. They're going very easy. Time to assemble the first floor rooftop. If you look on the bottom over here, they also have those pegs right there. So they fit in fairly easy as well. Time to put together the entire second floor and add the extra parts that still go on the first floor like the little air conditioner where you can just pop in any position that you deem fit. The second floor is slightly smaller than the first, but it's assembled just the same. So once you do the first floor, the second floor becomes easy because you're already familiar with attaching all the pieces for the first one. But the pieces on the side as well as side walls are shorter so you know which ones are different from the bottom ones from the top. Now that we put that all together, it's time to put these 40 little brick pieces right here. They're going very easy. As you can see, those holes that are in the wall, they just slide right in. Um, at the end of it, you'll have one 
still available that you won't use because obviously we put in that little air conditioner but if you don't want to put the air conditioner and you just want to close them all up just do as you wish Go ahead and attach those support beams for the back. As you can see right there, they have the grooves to put in and they got these little holes that you slide them in. I'm gonna be honest with you, some of them are easy to put in, some of them aren't. So you gotta be patient with these. You don't wanna break anything, obviously, but they're there to help support the top beams for that roof. So do the best you can without breaking anything. And then once you put it all together, then there you go. These are the backdrop brick supporters where you put them in the back. There's these little uh, holes in there that you're gonna plug in once you put the backdrop on that they should align. Go ahead and assemble the backdrop. The backdrop has multiple holes on the side that you just pop them out. And then you're gonna put in those plugs and hopefully yours will align perfectly with those bricks that have the holes in it. Once you plug them in, then it should hold it together. Some of them may not align perfectly, to be honest. Mine's didn't. But overall, it's built pretty well. Can't complain. Well, there you have it, faithful followers. The assemble of my NECA street scene diorama. Overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. With assembly, it's not that hard. It takes a little bit of time. Looks great. You're going to put your figures on there. Take a couple pictures, videos, or just display them. Overall, I'm very happy with this buy. And if you've been on the fence about it and this video has convinced you to do otherwise, go ahead and purchase one. It'd be worth your money. Thank you for sticking around and watching this build of the NECA street scene diorama. And also share these videos. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I will be giving away a free bundle for those that leave comments in my videos. So I'll be picking a random video with comments on it and I'll pick a winner once we hit 100 subscribers. Thanks guys, as always. Stay faithful.